Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the data center I um, I got a question in the comments of one of my videos and the question was how to replace and uh, extend a RAID 5 on a server if you have a server that you have installed a RAID 5 on and then suddenly you need more space and without putting in extra drives but like is it possible to to take the data out of the server and put it on some larger drives and I thought I have never tried that and yes there is scenarios where this could be used for home use you would probably just reinstall but for a professional enterprise environment you might just have spent ten thousand dollars to have some consultant from some software company configure your server to your needs and spend weeks doing that just to find out that oh we didn't buy the drives big enough and uh, oh now we are screwed and there's no more room in the server and it can't hold uh, you probably get it. We need to move the operating system on this server, which is in a RAID 5. It could be a RAID 6. I'm going to test it on a RAID 5. Over to larger drives somehow. And um, there is, of course, different ways to do this. And I'm sure some of you have some good suggestions to how this could be done. Uh, be mindful that we're dealing with a RAID controller. So if we are booting from something, it needs to be able to see the virtual drive on that RAID controller and export it. Uh, I was thinking about if you were wanting to boot from a USB key and get the data out and then replace the drives and then get the data back in. It might be an issue that the software on here might not be happy with the RAID controller on there. I have seen that before. but. Today I want to try an even more dutchy solution because when you have a RAID 5 and one of the drives fails, you can take that drive out and you can replace it with another one. So what if we replace it with a drive that is considerably larger than the one we just took out? So um, I have, I've readied that over here. I'm going to configure my server on 372 gigabyte hard drives in a RAID 5. Then I'm going to install something on there. Mm, I think it's gonna be server 2022 just to have the latest and the greatest and then I'm gonna try and replace one drive at a time and let it rebuild in between and see if I can extend the virtual drive afterwards and I hope that's gonna be very interesting so um, yeah let's go do that so this is the server that I'm using it's my old 24 7 server I replaced that not that long ago so i've taken all the drives out and i have put in 373 gigabyte sas drives here spinning disks and we're going to configure those yeah that is on the computer on the mega raid buyers blah 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 let's see the controller controller properties yeah this is the server raid m 5110e which means that uh, the E says that it's it's um, it's kind of mounted on the motherboard it's an integrated that's what we're dealing with and in some of these you need some software keys let's see this advanced software options and I have no idea yet if I have the right software options to do this I'm sure that it's going to be able to um, to do the RAID 5. It, it does have a, a um, software key that allows me to do a RAID 5. And it does also have a cache offload, which means that it has a physical cache card in there, which I believe is the same card that opens up for RAID 5 even. So, yeah, well, there's, a, there's a lot of iffies in here. But the RAID controller needs to be able to extend the virtual drive Otherwise, this is gonna fail. But let's see how far we get. So we have our three drives right there. So we're gonna configure those. Let's see. We are gonna use the configuration wizard here. 
We're going to try and add a configuration. And we're going to do that manually. Redundancy when possible, yes. No encryption, check. And we get our three drives here. There, haha. <laughs> Shift and the errors, add to array. No encryption, so let's accept this group. We have those there. Next. There we are. Add to this group. There and next. And now we get to select a different rate. There we can select rate 0 or 5 with those three disks. And we're gonna we're gonna use all the space, which means that we get 134 gigabytes which we could run out of really fast if this is a real system so that's an awesome test so let's um, accept that and, and it tells me that it's going to be able to use the battery on the RAID controller with the BBU mode which um, is faster but only when the battery is charged so uh, yes that's okay I guess we are done now, it's just next and accept. There's a lot of double clicks here, save configuration, yeah, I guess we will be okay with that. All data on it will, yes, and it should create our new virtual drive, home. There. So the, the RAID controller sees the physical drives, it creates a virtual drive which we've just configured and it presents that to the operating system. So uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can install Server 2022 on this. If I can, we're going to go with Server 2019. Okay, so it became a server 2019 because server 2022 was messing with me and that's not what this video is about. So uh, it sees the ray on the ray controller, so uh, we're good to go, I guess. Okay, it's one of those days. It took four hours to put server 2019 on here, but I did manage to, um, to get mega raid on here as well. So now I can at least see what I have to work with have my three drives here and we can see those on the well, physical they are here and logical we can also see them that they make this virtual drive here so um, yeah we are somewhere where we can start to replace the drives okay we are back several hours later uh, after a hard day's work in the garden um, right now it says that this virtual drive is optimal I'm guessing that when we uh, take one of the physical drives out, that's going to change. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we have. I uh, do actually have a lot of drives to pick from, in, oh, including some over here. But in a video not that long ago, I reformatted these drives. These are 1.2 terabyte uh, SAS drives. And, well, I put them up for sale. No one has bought them, so let's try those. Let's um, have eight of those, so we're gonna only need three. I'll mount one of them in a the disc case. Just pick something, doesn't really matter. Uh, IBM, IBM. Yeah, might be a bad idea to take these out. These are SSDs, but they are SATA drives. And the ones we have in there is SAS drives. So I need, to, um, I need to replace it with a SAS drive, I expect. And the other options are so much more limited. I could do this one. This is 500 gigabyte. But yeah, 1.2 terabyte is, is more fun, right?
now that I was screwing this in, I thought this this uh, amount of space was a lot. Well, well, I checked one of the other ones, and it's about the same. So, yeah, let's uh, let's try and replace one of the drives. So we need to take the right one because this one is uh, is doing other stuff. So, yeah, let's take drive number zero out. Should be complaining about that in a little bit. I would expect the server to get mad at me over here. Hmm. It uh, it has got mad at me up here. It's uh, it has found that our volume has been degraded. Oh, and and now it's mad at me over here as well. So let's try and put the new one in. Here it is, so let's try and pop that in, see if it starts to rebuild by itself, or if it's pissed at me for putting in a different drive. It looks rather pissed at me. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's checking or doing something at least. So up here it's of course, um, well you just saw that, it's complaining. So let's, um, yeah, let's dismiss that one. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, yes. So now the state is degraded and over here we have, uh, let's see that, we have our 1.92 terabytes which is rebuilding which is promising I wonder if you can if we can ask it how long that is gonna take that would be neat I'm not entirely sure where to, to ask it that so out here on the on the dashboard it tells us here how far it is with the rebuilding that green progress bar needs to go to the other end and the other end is over here but if we uh, ask for more details it tells us that we are 15% done so uh, that's cool enough estimated time left 17 minutes awesome very nice information I deliberately put some small drives in there so that this wouldn't take forever and ever so now it has completed and I expect that if we go over to the logical drive there and pick that, it's uh, optimal. Okay, so now we're going to take out drive number two and do the same thing. There we are, so we're going to take this one out. Oh, it's, on here is number one, but it's the second one, so yeah, it's going to be pissed at me. It's already pissed at me up at the screen. It's gonna take a little bit longer for it to be pissed at me down on the server. It, it kind of has, yeah, now it's orange in here, so it's, it knows that it's pissed. So let's pop that in there. Pissed as ever. Dismiss that. Yes. And we can see that it's degraded. Uh, we can see that it has started the rebuild and it's at 0% right now I'm sure it's gonna there so about 19 minutes oh almost 20 minutes to uh, to rebuild so that's okay so now we have two drives that are 1.2 terabytes and it's optimal again so I'm gonna go ahead with the last drive and replace that. Third drive, I'll take that out. Again. And we're gonna pop that in, so. I'm still very curious if this uh, rate controller is gonna be able to expand the volume and of course we are actually running on the drives that we are replacing so uh, yeah it's degraded let's see dashboard uh, 
zero percent. Oh, it wants twenty one minutes and thirty seconds for this one. Okay, that's fine. I'll go watch YouTube videos for another twenty minutes. Okay, we're done, and it's optimal. And we have three one point two terabyte hard drives. And if we close this down for a little bit, and we go down here, and we take this manager, uh, we can see. This is an internal USB key, we're, we're not using that, but we still only see 133 gigabytes, which was um, the old size, uh, because we haven't expanded the virtual drive uh, on the RAID controller yet, so Windows doesn't automatically get that, we need to do something there to, to fix that. So in here, we have our virtual drive and if we right click that we can actually expand that expand and current capacity is 134 gigabytes and there is two terabytes available enter the percentage of available capacity so we're just gonna go full speed ahead right so okay and so now the size is 2.181 terabytes. So let's see if that's presented to the operating system. I guess we have to refresh there. <laughs> we got a lot more space here unallocated. Okay. So now we can right click this one. We can extend volume so if this is our operating system drive uh, which was running out of space we can now add almost two terabytes so uh, let's do that uh, 185 gigabytes that I can't touch that's weird I'm not sure what that is all about but never mind for now we are very happy with our newly won two terabytes and um, mind you that we never downed this server it could have been running whatever and we have just replaced all the drives and gotten more space so that is kind of cool so my pc and we have the c drive here which is now two terabytes and um, drives are over here so that worked way better than I was expecting I must admit awesome a video that actually worked and I got to the result that I wanted which is fantastic and um, I wasn't sure that this was gonna work if the rate controller would be able to do this but it worked even better than expected I was um, I was expecting that I would have to shut down Windows and go into the BIOS and into the RAID controller that way, but I was able to do everything from the Mega RAID management program. So that was cool and kind of awesome that this server could have been in production all of this time. I'm not sure that I would really recommend doing that on uh, on RAID 5 drives three times. Uh, kind of dangerous. But if the drives were running a RAID 6, I think it would be okay. But I'm very interested in hearing how you would do this. If you had a system like this, where the expense of reinstalling it would cost you maybe $10,000 in, uh, in expensive consultant's help, how would you extend the space of this? So uh, please leave it in the comments below. And I would like to uh, promote my Patreon and remind my Patreons that I do Sunday videos over on Patreon. You should go check those out. I would enjoy that a lot. And just generally thanks the Patreon for supporting me that way. So, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.